Hello friends and welcome back. My name is Chris aka okay, the IT guy. Before I continue with these videos, I have to make an excuse. English is not my first language. I have seen many of people complaining about my English. That's no good. But I'm very sorry if you don't get what I say, but I beg to do. I'm going to increase my English as we will be moving on, but my English can't stop me from giving you uh, all these core cool concepts and I hope you will excuse me on that. I will make sure that you will catch up very well and you will have clear understanding. I know many people are judging about my accent or the way I pronounce things, but I hope I will improve as I'm going day by day. Thanks for that. In the last videos, we have seen all about fetch methods from PDO. And in this video, I'm going to show you on how to count the result from the, the table from the database. And you can get, for example, the number of laws from your table. And you can display them to make sure that you have uh, uh, this amount of laws or you don't have uh, this amount of laws in your database. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see on how we can do this. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this PDO uh, and, uh, underscore fetch laws like this on that PHP. And as I told you, there's no, pro there's no problem about copying and using the code because we can't go ahead and write the whole stuff. Uh, we have done, done that once, so I'm going to copy the codes and we have to modify for a bit. As you are seeing, we have to modify the title and I'm going to call this PDO fetch uh, laws. And I'm going to change in here too, and I'm going to put video of fetch laws like this. And for the fetch column, we don't need fetch column, we use fetch only. We use fetch method to get the results from the database. And in here, I'm going to echo the uh, law, but in combination with their specific name as first name, name like this. And I'm going to copy this over here down here here and here i'm going to change this as surname and in here like this one so after doing that you can give it a go and see if it will bring the results as expected when i try to access the pdo fetch laws like this one you can see that it was able to get the results from the database all right and in here i'm going to uh, i'm going to call this counting laws instead Counting laws, uh, counting laws. I hope to, it's written like this. And in here, it is counting laws, not fetch laws. I made a mistake, but it, it is um, it is the matter of understanding what we are doing here. So let's refresh PDO counting laws. So to count the rows, there is no much of thinking i'm going to show you two methods that you can use to fetch laws the first one will be by using the pdo low count method from pdo class and it will give us the number of laws that we have in the database enough of talking so let's go ahead and see how how we can do this i'm going to call to name a new variable and i'm going to to put it, to call this num laws uh, the number of laws and this will be equal to the results that we get from uh, the query and i'm going to pull in two low count uh, from the uh, pdo class and i will do like that one to check if this is working you can use var dump for example let's say let you do var dump in here and i'm going to put this variable as num lows and when you go on your browser and refresh consider it was able to return int three as it will be three rows in our database you can check this on your uh, on your own and you can see what's going on here you can see that we have only three rows in this database or in this table okay so i'm going to get rid of this var dump and i'm going to continue to see on where we output the number of results that we have in the database so i'm going to go down here and i'm going to open php and i'm going to say echo i'm going to do like this one for example i put this in h2 and I'm going to say like a uh, number of lows and I put this and I'm going to uh, call the variable as num lows. And after doing that, I can go ahead and uh, try to close the this uh, H2 and I'm going to remove this here. Instead, I'm, I'm going to put it here and close and close your PHP tags like this one. So when I go back to the browser and the refresh, 
can see that it was able to show us the number of lows as three You're having three lows in our database so when you try to remove like uh, one low or we try to truncate all the table for example let me go ahead and truncate uh, my table which is not a good practice to do but as uh, i am showing you how this works i'm going to truncate names like this one and in this case you can see that uh, the query was okay so when you try to refresh you can see that i am having zero lows or i have no lows from the database and you can be sure that uh by using this approach you can get the number of lows from the database i'm going to to hit a couple of uh, allow key to bring back my data in the database for example like this and when i try to refresh again you can see that i was able to get my uh, my data back all right that was the first method by using uh, this low count uh method from pdo there will be another there will be another uh, approach that you can use by using the sql itself or the sql itself so i'm going to to leave this as this but on the top of here i'm going to count to make a variable and i'm going to call this as count and this will be equal to the connection from to the database and i'm going to to do like query and inside the query this is where i'm going to put my select query and i'm going to put count and to be able to count all i'm going to put this star and i'm going to type the name of uh, where the the result will be from and it will be from names and in that case to uh, to restore the count into it will restore that into the names but in this case i i will need also to point to the fetch column as to be counting here it will count only one low from the database but the, so to avoid that i'm going to be using the uh, the fetch here so as to be able to fetch column here so as to be able to distinguish about that so i'm going to edit for a bit i'm going to remove this uh, result and i'm going to put this count and i'm going to point to fetch column uh, column like this one and save so when you go ahead and refresh you can see that i'm having the same results so when i try to go ahead and truncate our table again truncate uh, names like this one and when you do the refresh you can see that i'm having number of lows as a zero as we we're having the last uh, video so i'm going to go ahead and bring back my data in here all right cool you can see that i'm able to bring back my lows as number a number of lows as three there will be another case when you will need to use some of the conditional statements so as to avoid bringing unnecessary data on the screen so i'm going to show you how to do that too so to do that i'm going to make a conditional statement on here so i'm going to put this i'm going to say like if uh, num lows it means that it will be able to bring the number of uh, lows and uh, this is where i'm going to put this inside this condition so it will check if we have any low in the database if you don't have it will never do anything so in this case uh, we can be we can be sure that it was able to fetch the uh, lows from the database and if that doesn't see any low it will never return anything but we can't do that from here and we stop we don't need also to show the table at all because there will be some uh, of the cases when you will know you, you, you don't want to see the table itself when you don't have any low from the database and inside here i'm going to put enter and i'm going to open my php here and i'm going to put if and i'm going to compare uh, i'm going to call for example again uh, if uh, num lows and i'm going to open this and to make sure that i am having this uh, on the whole and the whole a bunch of code i'm going to close the php here i'm going to try and close it down here where the table end i'm going to close this so what this will do so let's try to point this to see where it will and uh, so the, what this will do it will check if we have any lows in the database so if we don't have lows uh, from the database there is no need to show tables at all so let's go ahead and hit save and refresh can see that we're having three rows but when you try again to truncate the table like we did and you refresh 
can see that it was near it didn't bring it didn't bring the table at all so it means that it was able to execute our condition that if you don't have any law in the database there is no need to show me the empty table uh, but in the beginning for example when when you were trying to fetch when you were trying for example a, let's say for pdo uh i can fetch fetch like this one you can see that it was able to bring this table the data is empty and there's no need to do that but before to bring the table you should have to check if there is a uh, laws existing in the database so i hope you catch this very well and it was i was able to get anything from this so let me know in the comment if you met with any problem or any errors i'm here to help you if you like this video go ahead and press on like and from now on till next time i'll see you guys in the next one peace